Ladies and gentlemen, today is a day for brain recalibration. More specifically, the recalibration of my sensation of speed. Because behind me is a McLaren 765LT with what has to be one of the most special paint jobs I've ever seen on a car, not even just a 765LT. But this isn't just your regular 765LT. This thing has actually had its motor built might be one of the first 765 LTs to have forged pistons and it's been tuned by DME Tuning Texas and it makes about 1000 wheel horsepower. Already just off the bat the 765 LT makes 755 horsepower from factory and it's known to be one of the fastest supercars, the unbeatable supercar. You can't compete with that thing but now the owners decided to make it even faster and I just, I, I can't wait. You know, I can't wait, but it's also a little bit bittersweet because I know after experiencing this, every other car is just gonna be slow to me. So, you know, can't wait for that recalibration, but like I said, it might be a little bit bittersweet because I'll have to hustle so I can get one of these things myself. But without further ado, I think it's time to, to get the GoPro suction cups ready and hop in this thing and experience what it's all about. Alrighty, this tastes unbelievable. switching because mm. if you do take it on a track you don't have to drive it in like full race gas mode you should do a little vlog yeah. Yeah. You know, that makes me so happy. I mean, already, I, you know, the 
thing that I recognized probably first was how damn light this thing is. Yeah. Right? Like you get into it and it just everything feels so compact, yep. so nimble. Yep. The, the steering wheel itself is so small, right? It's, yeah. it's you, awesome. you can feel the light, yeah, you can feel the lightness yeah. of the car, yeah. Even, even with a slight throttle tap, you can feel the amount of power you have behind yeah. you. We had to, we had to put. Uh, I think we've got a hundred. I think it comes with seventy pound injectors. I could be wrong, uh, but I think it's seventy pounds, and we put one twenties on it. Every cylinder has two injectors, right? There was so much fuel going to it; it was throwing codes, just be cruising around normally. So Spencer had to tune it to where one of the injectors. Yeah cuts off at a certain point Damn. until the RPMs hit a, I think it's like 4,000 or 5,000. He's done over a hundred revisions on the tune on this car. Holy Just like fine tuned every piece. It's insane. All right, I'm gonna do a little pull here. Yeah.
right guys real quick so i've driven the 765 lt done all that stuff but as a final quick send off pj is going to do a burnout in this I, I can't thank him enough this is going to be freaking unbelievable <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, as far as multiple different tune settings, as we kind of discussed earlier, this is like the verbal tune setting. I just want to give you guys the opportunity to hear what this thing sounds like. Alright guys, so that is a wrap with the 765 LT, my first McLaren I've ever drove. Uh, Takeaways, I've never felt a car that's so light, so dynamic. The steering is unbelievable. The sensitivity, the feedback it gives you is, is just second to none. And for the first time ever, I actually felt downforce. When I was driving, going around one of these overpass corners, I could literally feel the pressure that the downforce was creating through the steering wheel. I could feel the front end gripping. It was crazy. This car, it's un freaking believable. The performance it has, and it looks it looks unbelievable. I'm gonna put the door down here for a second. It truly just does look like a spa spaceship. And the paint job is only a further testament to that. Um, all the lines, all the angles, you can stare at it for hours. I've never driven a car that gives me so many different sensory feedbacks, like that downforce I was talking about, like when the wing comes up and the air brake, and you can feel that pressure. And then just the light, the lightness of it. This thing is back to that racing, ethos of a lightweight machine. PJ, I can't thank you enough, bro. That was an awesome yeah. day. Thank you so much. Time, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys next time with even better car content. <laughs>